Hi, I am Sandosh Vipshaji, phase 1 MBBS student at TK Das Institute of Medical Science. Today we are going to discuss the important external features, blood supply and clinical importance of spinal cord. In this video, we are more concentrating on the external features of spinal cord. We all know the spinal cord is a part of central nervous system as a continuation of medulla oblongata. It is well protected by vertebral column, CSF and meninges. As it consists of tracts, it helps in the passage of information between the brain and the periphery of the body. It extends from the upper border of the first cervical vertebra to the lower border of the first lumbar vertebra, having a length of 45 cm. Do you know any other structures having the same length of spinal cord? The vast difference thoracic duct and transverse colon having the same length of spinal cord that is 45 cm. The spinal cord occupies the whole length of the vertebral column till the third month of intrauterine life. In infants, its lower level ends at the L3 level and in adults, its lower level ends at the L1 level. This is the basis of lumbar puncture which can be discussed later in the next video. The spinal cord is elongated and flattened anteroposteriorly. So let us discuss the important external features of spinal cord. We all know the spinal cord is covered by meninges, an outer dura mater, middle arachnoid and inner pia mater. Outer dura mater, middle arachnoid and the inner pia mater. The dura mater and the arachnoid mater, it extends up to the S2 level and the pia mater, it extends from the L1 to the first cosigial vertebrae. So let us discuss the modifications of pia mater. Do you know how many modifications are there? There are four important modifications. Which are there? Phylum terminate, ligamentum denticulata, linea splendens and subarachnoid septum. First of all, we are discussing the phylum terminal. Before going to phylum terminal, we must know the corners medullaris. What is corners medullaris? It is the, the spinal cord having a lower tapering end. It is called as corners medullaris. The tip of corners medullaris, it continues downwards as a thin white filamentous structure called phylum terminal. It is a modification or the extension of pia mater from the tip of corners medullaris to the first cosigial vertebra. This is the phylum terminal. It have two parts, phylum terminal internum and phylum terminal externum. The phylum terminal internum having a length of 15 cm and it lies inside the dual sac and phylum terminal externum having a length of 5 cm and it lies outside the dual sac at the level of S2. Then the second important thing is the ligamentum denticulata. This is ligamentum denticulata. These are 21 pairs of lateral triangular extensions of the spinal pia mater between the dorsal and ventral roots of the spinal cord. And it have a white tooth-like appearance and it connects to the overlying dura mater. Then the third thing is the linear splendens. It is the white band of glistening spinal pia mater along the anterior median fissure. And the fourth is the subarachnoid septum. It connects the dorsal aspect of the spinal cord to the arachnoid mater. Thank you.